Hello everyone, welcome to Maths with Mr. JN. Today I'm going to show you how to solve this nested root equation. It looks a bit difficult if you can stop and solve it before we go through. Now we have two methods to approach this question. First, we solve it externally, which is starting from the big root, then to the small root. Then the second method that we use is starting internally, solving the inside root before the bigger root. Okay, let's dive in. First, we say solution. Now let's start by working first the internal root. In law of indices, whenever we have nth root of a is equal to a raised to the power of 1 over n. If we apply that here, we are going to have kth root of kth root of 512 equal to 2. Then if we apply it internally, we are going to have kth root of 512 raised to the power of 1 over k equal to 2. Then if we move further, we are going to have kth root of 512 raised to the power of 1 over k, which is equal to 2. Then if we continue, we have to apply this law of indices again. Then we will have 512 raised to the power of 1 over k or raised to the power of 1 over k equal to 2. Then we can multiply the powers. If we multiply the powers, we are going to have 512. Then 1 times 1 gives us 1 all over k times k gives us k squared equal to 2. Now we look at the left-hand side. Can we express left-hand side as base 2? Yes. If we do that, we are going to have 2 raised to the power of 9. Meaning when you times 2 by itself 9 times, you will get 512 raised to the power of, or raised to the power of 1 over k squared equal to 2. And this 2 in the right-hand side is our 1. At this point, what we do, we multiply the powers. When we multiply the power, we are going to have 2 raised to the power of 9 times 1 give us 9 all over k squared equal to 2 raised to the power of 1. If we compare both sides, base 2 with cancel base 2 left with 9 over k squared equals to 1. Now, if we move further, we cross multiply. This one is over 1. k squared times 1 gives us k squared equal to 9 times 1 gives us 9. Then we move further. k squared equal to 9. To get k, we find the square root of both sides. Square root of k squared equals to square root of 9. Square root we cancel squared left with k which is equal to square root of 9. Square root of 9 is plus or minus 3. Therefore, we don't have minus root. Therefore, our final answer is k equal to 3. This is the first approach to this question. Then, we want to take the second approach. Now, we are going to approach this question externally that is solving from the big bracket. We have kth root of kth root of 512 equal to 2. Now we are going to take k power of both sides. If we take k power of both sides, we are going to have kth root of kth root of 512 all raised to the power of k equal to 2 raised to the power of k. k power, we cancel k root, left with 
gate root of 512 equal to 2 raised to the power of k. If we move further, we take k power of both sides again, which is k root of 512 raised to the power of k equal to 2 k raised to the power of k raised to the power of k. Therefore, k power we cancel k root, k root left with 512 equal to 2 raised to the power of k squared. Now we can express the left hand side in base 2. If we express 512 in base 2, we are going to have 2 raised to the power of 9, meaning it is 2 you times by itself 9 times to give you 512, which is equal to 2 raised to the power of k squared. If we compare both sides, the base we cancel base left with 9 equal to k squared. Now we take square root of both sides. If we take square root of both sides, we are going to have root of 9 equals to root of k squared. Root we cancel squared left with k. And root of 9 is plus or minus 3. In this case, we don't have negative root. Therefore, k is equal to 3 as the answer. These two methods, we arrive at the same answer. We solve from inside to outside and we solve from outside to inside. If we want to check if we are correct, we write check. We write the original equation, which is k root of k root of 512. Is it equal to 2? Then now put k equals to 3. Whenever we see k, we put 3. It becomes cube root of cube root of 512. Is it equal to 2? Cube root of 512, if we solve the, solve the internal one, is 8. Meaning is 8 we times 3 times to give you 512. Then the big cube root is cube root of 8. Is it equal to 2? Let's see. Yes. Cube root of 8 is 2. Because 2 is that smallest number you can times 3 times to give you 8. Meaning the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. If this helped, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.